Yes, there's an air of the that's full-bodied, refreshing hot coffee makes any time a pleasant interlude. So you guys may or may not know this, but I like coffee. I drink coffee, been drinking coffee for a very long period of time. And I have tried so many different ways to prepare coffee, convenience and flavor and doing right by the bean. Now, many people have opted for the ultimate inconvenience at the expense of the flavor of the coffee that they're drinking. That right there is, uh, it's instant coffee. And what do you do? You just put hot water in there. But is it really even coffee? I don't know. Harold, is the coffee all right? Mm -mm. I'm going to be showcasing the many different ways to enjoy coffee leading up to our grand finale, which is this device right here. This company, Spin, reached out. They said, no, nah, we're the ones with the ultimate coffee maker. We would like to sponsor an episode putting our machine up against those other varieties of methods to make coffee. And this is, I've never seen a system like this in my life, which actually spins the water in beans instead of applying pressure. This thing can do espresso, regular coffee, and it will take the real coffee bean in. Let me just set the premise. The reason all this stuff is on the table is because we're gonna make a cup of coffee instant. We're gonna make a cup of coffee Keurig. This is the pod style. This is a convenience compromise. This is so easy to use. You just pop the thing in and boom, you have a coffee. This is a world famous little mini simple coffee maker. It's called a Chemex. You just pour your own hot water over top of your coffee grounds. This is what I've been using for a very long period of time. There's almost zero convenience here and it tends to be a little bit messier disposing of this. When I heard about how the spin mach machine was dealing with disposal, I got really excited. Because of the spin process, it actually leaves the beans after they've been ground dry, very dry, dry to the point you can just sprinkle them in your garden, which is what they suggest as a fertilizer. So you actually take a coffee, the settings of the machine will adapt to the roaster's intention. For this coffee, I want it to be ground at this coarseness level, and I want the water to be this hot so that you're getting the optimal brew the way that the roaster intended. I am going to make all of these coffees. They will be set up in front of me blindly. Do a secret setup of one, two, three different coffee cups, at which point I'm gonna blindly taste them and explain to you the difference in my experience going from the cheapest version of a coffee maker, which is essentially no coffee maker at all, all the way up to freshly ground coffee, roasted as the roaster intended. So I'm gonna have three different sips, three different takes, and we'll see if I can identify the differences and how quickly I can identify the differences. Interesting unboxing experience. Whoa, look at how they thought about it. Place your coffee maker, follow the instructions on the app. Inevitably, mornings will pop up where I forgot to get beans or I ran out or I drank too much. This thing will alert you through notification on your phone because it knows when beans are running out in the hopper. Oh, Mrs. Olsen, he's always crabbing about my coffee. I could cry. Incredible. Boom. When you grind, if you smell the aroma, it is a special thing. The water is spun with the coffee and there you have it. I'm gonna get these all watered up and let's get this test going. So I got Will to make these coffees for me so that I wouldn't even catch a visual on which, what each version looked like. Now, even once I do the taste test, I'm not going to try to examine them and figure it out too much. I'm just going to experience each coffee and attempt to identify the different attributes given the fact that they're really three completely different approaches to a similar end product. And they're all called coffee, or at least people would call them all coffee, even though the true form is obviously in the whole bean format. I can smell that from here.
He has used each method of coffee making to create three distinct cups of coffee. Apparently, you guys watching this, Will, the camera guys, everybody knows exactly which coffee is which. I, however, do not know which coffee is which. I'm fairly confident I'll be able to tell the differences, but I'm just trying to put all my energy and focus into the analysis of the coffee itself. Anyway, let's go ahead and, and try this one on the far side over here. Hmm. That's coffee. I'm not gonna say anything until I've tasted all of them. Hmm. Whoa. Okay, <laughs> well that is not even close, all right? This is, that, that's not coffee, that's instant coffee. Okay, hands down. However, over here, these are both coffee. I would call them both coffee. This is the real coffee. This is, it, and I knew it on the first sip, but I just didn't want to say I was like, I do have to go taste the other ones before I get too carried away, but it is it is a much fuller thing going on in my mouth. Uh, I, I can taste the nuance, the whole bean, like the smell that you get, you know that smell of freshly roasted coffee? Well, it enters your mouth as well. A lot of this has to do with using fresh beans to begin with. You're gonna be so far ahead if you're just willing to put up with fresh beans, grinding, drinking, and having fresh beans in your house. The major drawback, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, is around convenience and having to deal with some sort of drip uh, system situation like I currently have with the Chemex. Well, not anymore, now that I have this. There's just not a lot of tech involved in a lot of those experiences, especially when you have the separate grinder and everything else. This puts it into one place and it doesn't stop with just a typical drip coffee, but it also extends into all those variety of fancy drinks that you or your guest may want. Some days it could be a latte, but this is, that is a real coffee. The other ones are, the, the, the middle one from the Keurig machine is way better, it's way better than instant coffee. So if you're living on instant coffee, I highly recommend some level of upgrade. This tastes like coffee. This tastes like a special moment every single morning. This tastes like, uh, I can't wait to wake up type of flavor. Like that's the difference. It's just, it feels, that's the difference. This has a, special bit of extra on top of it compared to the Keurig machine. The Keurig machine, it's almost, you know what it's kind of like is, um, it's kind of like a, when you drink a nice wine compared to a cheap one, it's almost like you can taste the separation between the substance and the water. It's, there's, al there's, there's, almost, there's almost a slight texture kind of pickup that you get. This is a, a thick and full thing. It's fully integrated. If you're a person that appreciates coffee, you would walk up to this table and easily be able to do what I just did as well. It's no surprise. Could I have coffee like this from some other type of setup? Absolutely, but not with the tech, convenience, and specifics, like to bring the algorithm into it, to bring the settings supplied from the roaster, as far as the grind is concerned, as far as the amount of time in, sitting in the water and the spin factor, that's a different level of intimacy between yourself and your roaster. And if you appreciate coffee, then 
You deserve that love of It's f***ing incredible. I don't know what to tell you. You can't put that in, but...